Today was the day the movie Joker premiered nationally, and it's not like other so-called comic book movies. It's darker, and the word disturbing has crept into some reviews. Some people have even expressed concern about the dark nature of the movie and how it could possibly lead to violence. So theaters all across the U.S., including right here in Utah, are adding extra security. That's because there actually have been threats. But as Fox 13 Sydney Glenn shows us, it's also bringing up another topic beyond violence. It's, it's very dark. Big message. Just don't be mean to people. <laughs> this dark thriller is gaining fans at places like Bruvy's Theater. It's amazing. It's an amazing movie. Even Fox 13's own Rich Bonaducci gives the film an A-, minus, but it's also facing a lot of backlash. I think people are more concerned that it's going to glorify violence because it's about the Joker. Everyone we talked to who has seen it, though, including Rich, disagrees. Don't take this movie to heart either. I mean, this is a comic book villain. Instead, some are seen for something different. I think it's more of a call to action. People this scene in particular is what Rich says really stands out to him. This is the last time we'll be meeting. You don't listen, do you? You just ask the same questions every week. How's your job? Are you having any negative thoughts? The film shows the Joker's decline into a murderous villain, which Julie Real, the chief clinical officer for Valley Behavioral Health, says is at least getting people thinking. I think it's good to see the warning signs if somebody is being bullied, if somebody has had a history of trauma, how it can impact their well-being. But she wonders how this impacts the stigma around mental health, especially linking them to violence. There's a statistic, three to six percent of people with mental illness commit crimes or are violent. And there's a um, people with mental illness are more likely to be harmed or harm themselves. The movie is dark. Not much we certainly know. In Salt Lake City, Sydney Glenn, Fox 13 News, Utah. If you or someone you know is suffering from mental illness, there is help out there. Julie Rael, who Sydney Glenn just spoke to, says don't worry about how you will pay for it. There are lots of programs out there that can help you out. Call Valley Behavior Health, the number there on your screen, 888-949-4864. You can get that number again on our website, fox13now.com.